Open the Predict Wind offshore app. To download the latest forecast data, drag the green start waypoint and the red destination waypoint to your desired locations. You can also tap on the waypoint icon to set the start and finish waypoints with the latitude and longitude. Or tap the go to boat icon to route from your Iridium Go GPS position. Here we can also add and delete waypoints to the route using the plus and minus symbols. However, you should minimize waypoints so the routing algorithm is free to find the fastest route. The relevant grip area and other associated forecast data will automatically be selected. You can manually adjust this area by selecting the grip view from the main menu, then by dragging the corners of the white box on the map. We can add an area to avoid altogether with the boundaries feature. To add a boundary, tap on the boundary icon. Tap on the map where you want to add a boundary. You need to make it a closed shape. Once you have the points on the map, you can move each point and add a latitude longitude if you wish to be specific. To delete the boundary, tap on the center and delete. We will leave the boundary in place for this example. We will download a weather route and GRIBS with a file size suitable for a first time satellite connection. You can add or remove other parameters once you become comfortable with the download process. Once our waypoints are set, tap the green download arrow from on the top right corner. This moves us to download settings page. Here we can change our parameters, which is very important for satellite and low bandwidth connections. The app comes loaded with suitable default settings for a satellite download. Gribs, toggle on, then tap on Grib Preferences. Forecast model, we can select the models we want to visualize in the Grib format, keeping in mind that the weather route, which is only 10 kilobytes, will have all variables for all the models. Interval, this is the time step of the Gribs. We have 12 hourly selected. Days is the number of days we are getting GRIBS for from now. We have 5 days of GRIBS selected. Resolution. We can choose 100km or 50km resolution. Highest res available gives us the highest resolution modeling. This would give us a very large file size, too big for our satellite connection. Then we can select other forecast variables. The default settings are wind, rain and pressure. Other options are wave, cape, gust, air temperature, and cloud. Tap back. Now we can check our weather routing is turned on. Here we could also select departure planning to select the best day to depart, or a spot destination forecast to get a 7 day table format forecast at your destination waypoint derived from the highest available resolution GRIB files. These features require the standard or professional package. We will select our weather routing preferences. We do not need to adjust these for every download, but we want to set them up initially to our chosen preferences. We can choose to optimize for the fastest route or for comfort. Comfort settings and set the parameters we want the weather router to try and avoid. We will choose fastest time and use our seamanship to make the best routing decisions from that information. Tap back to weather routing preferences. The default start time is now, or you can select a time in the near future. The time is based on the time zone of the device. If we wish to change our boat polar, we can do this here. If we have set this up in the PredictWind app or website, the polars will be synced across to the offshore app. If you change the polar here in the offshore app, it will be used for your routing going forward until you make another change. We can also adjust our polar percentage to give a slower or faster routing. You can also set up a motoring option for light winds. The router will assume we are motoring at x knots when boat speed is less than x knots. Depth avoidance can be set to avoid certain depths to give you a more accurate calculated route. By setting the depth to 5 meters, the route will not go into water less than 5 meters deep. We can choose a number of depth contours. 
If your start or finish waypoints are too shallow, the router will move them to deeper water. It is very important to always use charts and navigation tools to confirm your route once you have your proposed weather route. Toggle on Ocean and Tidal Currents, and then select which current model you want to use in the weather routing calculation. We can also change preferences for departure planning if we are using that tool. We could adjust the departure spacing and models used. Next is the GMDSS forecast, which is a small download and important for checking weather warnings. Observations can give some insight into the actual wind readings in the grip area we are looking at. The next option is ocean data. For this download we have it turned off as it is covered in another tutorial. The next setting is satellite imagery, which is another option, but a larger file to download, so we will leave it off. Tracking data allows us to update our track manually and also bring in data from buddy boats or boats in our rally. Now that we have these download settings, they will remain the same for future downloads. At the bottom of the screen, we now have our estimated file size. In this example, we have a file size which is acceptable for a satellite phone download. Tap on the blue bar to continue to download. First time users will be prompted to enter their Predict Wind Forecast subscription login details. Now we are on the downloads page. Here you can select your connection type. Web is for land based internet connections. Iridium Go, Red Port Optimizer, Global Star, Satellite for other high bandwidth satellite connections. And for SSB connections or a satellite connection without a direct connection capability, you can retrieve weather data via email. It is important at this stage to check that your Wi-Fi is on your chosen connection type in the device's Wi-Fi settings. Once you have connected to your Wi-Fi, match the connection type on the top menu in the Downloads box, then tap on Download All. When the files download, it is important to take note that not all models have the parameters available you may have selected. Check what you have to avoid confusion later. The downloads page must stay open while you are downloading. Once all of the files are downloaded and have a tick next to them, tap on the close button. We are then taken to the weather routing tables that have detailed data for our weather route in graphs, wind, summary, route, wave, atmosphere, and current. This is also where the export function is for the weather route. Next, we will tap on Map. Here we can see our weather routes and GRIBS together. Tap on the Play button to animate the routes and the GRIBS. You can control this animation speed with the controls in the pop-out box. The boats and GRIBS will move in time. The color of the route is related to the weather model. The animation can also be controlled by moving the time slider bar or using the left and right arrows. Tapping on the circle takes us to now. When you tap on the weather model from the bottom right, we get the control panel pop out. Here you can make changes to the display. ECMWF is black, UKMO is yellow, Spire is orange, PWG is blue, PWE is red, GFS is green. We also have other display controls. Map display types are streamlines, wind barbs with color contours, wind arrows with color contours. Parameter selections are also changed here. Wind, rain, cloud, air temperature, gust, cape, and wave can be viewed by tapping on the relevant menus if you have downloaded them. The animation play speed is also changed in this pop-out. Use the standard pinch and drag to zoom and pan the map. To hide any or several weather routes, tap on the toggle routes icon at the top of the screen and tap on the tick boxes. Use the main menu to view the other forecast formats. Select GMDSS from the main menu, then tap on the link in the middle of the GMDSS area. GMDSS forecasts are text safety warnings that are written by meteorologists from the responsible regional meteorological office. To view satellite images, 
Select Satellite Imagery from the menu bar, then tap on the link in the middle of the satellite image area. You can select between color or black and white images. For ocean data, please see the ocean data tutorial. You are now ready to explore the offshore app for yourself. Please contact us on support at predictwind.com if you have any further questions.